Okay, in last class we talk about that uh, course outcome, course overview, and uh, course uh, course module and course level problem. So here a course when I say course is a top level. Now a course consists of several module like a book. If I say the book is a course, then book consists of several chapters. So each chapters I can say one module. So, if I say I have a course of three modules, then course is divided into three modules. So, each module also has a structures. What is the structures? It's each module has module overview, module level learning outcome, module level practice problem, module learning strategy including additional learning material and module lectures. So, what is module overview? So, module overview is the how what the, what the module is the covered that or how this module is fitted into the course. So, I can say module overview is one paragraph write up on module coverage and one paragraph write up on how the module is fitted in the course. So, module is an integral part of the course. So, you have to write one paragraph, okay, this is my course and this is my first module. So, this module, this is the module coverage. So, the module consists of this, 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 this topic and the module will introduce of this topic, this topic, this topic and do this, do this kind of things and then one paragraph, how the module is fitted into the course. Okay? So, that is called module overview. So, it may be two paragraph only, one paragraph is module overview and another paragraph is how this module is fitted into the course. Next one is module level learning outcome. So, we have already write course level learning outcome. That means, when I design a material, so largest perspective, suppose I am design a training material. So, what is the ultimate goal of the training is the course level outcome. Okay? So, course outcome is the major outcome of that course. Now, what is module outcome? Module outcomes are the major outcome within that module. Have you understood? So, the course outcome may be the coverage in when the entire course is learned by the learner what kind of skill he is supposed to demonstrate. Now, module learning outcome, once the whole entire module is learned by the learner, what kind of skill he has to demonstrate for that module. So, that is called module level learning outcome. Then module level practice problem. So, every outcome must be linked with the practice problem. So, that is why module level learning outcome when I say so, more each and every module level learning outcome must be linked with that kind of module level problem. So, this framework provides the learner not only the material, but also what he is supposed to achieve and whether he has achieved that target or not, he has to solve the practice problem and try to find out whether he achieved the target or not. So, it should be consistent throughout the material, not only the course outcome, course level practice problem, module outcome, module level practice problem. Then module learning strategy, what is the module learning strategy? Suppose you said this is my module outcome and how do I learn, here the material is coming. How do I learn that module? Maybe you can explain the strategy also, you may say that I have given those material for this mod module level learning, but it may be very good to learn as a group. So, a learner may form a three four learner may form a group and one learner can go through the material number one, another learner can go through the material number two, another learner can go through the material number three and consult among themselves to solve the problem which is provided in module level practice problem. If they are able to solve it, that means they are able to achieve the outcome which is the module has. 
so those is called learning strategy you can mention the learning strategy so not only the material you provided but also you provided the module learning strategy and he, this kind of framework another thing is that here we are not saying that material should be multimedia effect that will learn beautifully it may not be true some concept may be very good can be learned from a text because student has to has to create that imagination about that problem so maybe if i overloaded with too many multimedia content it may be overloaded his brain or i may be destroy his imagination capability so i may say this is the material primary material first you read this material uh, if you not able to conceptualize the problem then you can take a help of this kind of material which is more multimedia kind of thing so what is saying that we are providing the material which is a multi channel different kind of learning strategy different kind of learning approaches will support by the material so it is not that it is only for visual learner it is only for textual learner not kind that kind of things we said there is a number of path is exist in this module as per your requirement you choose your path and once you find out once you are able to solve the problem once you are able to reach the outcome yes you can reach it by any path whatever you want so that is called module learning strategy then module lectures a module consist of another lecture called module lecture another sub can you say the sub topic so module is a topic and another sub topic we call module lecture each module consist of several lecture lecture may be a 20 minute duration video maybe 15 minute video or maybe 40 minutes lectures so the lectures what we also important i also describe what should the, be the lectures so let's i give you an example for module level so let's one of the module of the course which are given the example for the course outcome acoustic the audio system engineering let's one of the module name is acoustic wave equation so this is my module name and 1 2 3 are the module level outcome what i said derive the linear wave equation and spherical wave equation so these are the two things they have to derive for a given specification of an acoustic wave propagation determine the intensity of the acoustic wave at a particular distance calculate the sound pressure level and intensity in db for a given acoustic source and necessary specification let's you have write down some module so those outcome are specific to that module and what kind of module level problem suppose i want to write a module level problem for outcome 2 then what is what i give the sound pressure 60 db power and the sound is propagated as a spherical wave what is the sound intensity for a person hearing it from 50 meter away so determine the intensity so it is not necessary the whatever the outcome is written i provide the problem derive the expression for the no you have to provide a practical level problem which link with specific outcome so if a person can able to calculate the intensity of the sound they have to solve this problem then that means he know how to calculate the intensity of a spherical wave propagation similarly when you go for the lecture level lecture level means lecture summary so it may be if the suppose the lecture duration is 20 minutes then you pre pre prepare a lecture summary for 20 minute duration lecture less lecture is 40 minutes you prepare a lecture summary for 40 minutes lecture summary means it not details material it is what kind of concept you have cover in that lectures that has to be mentioned that is called lecture summary okay then lecture level out every lecture must have an outcome why the learner will read that lectures or why the learner will watch the video of that lectures so every lecture must have an outcome again for every outcome there must have an problem which is related to the outcome 
so lecture summary lecture outcome lecture level problem another thing is i have not mentioned in here that is lecture video so instead of giving a 40 minute lectures what we recommend that you can you can you can include it only 10 to 20 minute lecture video which only cover the concept key concept you cover in the lectures not that details the lecture details the lecture is lecture summary is given reference is given the learner can read it but what you to provide you to provide the key concept which consists in the lecture and their real life explanation you have to provide in the 10 to 20 minute video lecture that is optional you can include it or you can write down it also okay so what is the example again i said the same course let's i have the i have the taken the lecture number 1 lecture number 3 for this module so i said outcome is derive the mathematical expression for acoustical impedance for a spherical wave propagation this is the lecture outcome what kind of problem i added with the lecture outcome given a small so i have not said that derive the mathematical expression i have given a problem which related to the mathematical expression so i given this problem to related to this outcome so this problem if a learner able to solve it then he achieve this outcome so in lecture video i can I can cover the concept, key concept exists on this lecture. Then the learner will okay, able to do it. Okay. So, this way you have to create your entire course in a particular framework. So, framework is consist of course, course level outcome, course level practice problem and course coverage module course overview. Then it consists of module, module overview, which nothing but a coverage of the module and how this module is fitted to the course. Then module outcome, module practice problem, learning strategy and module unit means lectures. And every lectures must have an outcome, must have a lecture summary and must have every outcome must link with the problem why I divided the content in a particular module, structured module because suppose today you are offering a material which is cover certain topic for certain purpose. Now, suppose you have required another material where you can use reuse one or two module from here by a little bit of modification you can adopt it. Or I said the continuous evaluation of your material. So, suppose today you create a material, maybe after 3 or 4 years, one or two module require certain revision. So, you can locate the particular module, revision can be made. Similarly, anybody can give you a comment that okay, you have written this outcome but mostly this outcome is not required for this kind of purpose then you can incorporate that comment so unless you develop that your e learning material in a structured framework then how do you do the continuous upgradation how do you incorporate that expert comment expert say oh this material is useless what is the meaning nothing so now expert has to say which portion of the lecture is useless? They may say the course outcome is very shallow level. Then I can say, okay, this material is not for this, go for the slightly lower level. So, this kind of things we can do using this structure e content development. Okay? Thank you.